Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another tech review, and today I'm very excited to check out the KM14 Bluetooth keyboard from New Laxi. This is something that will work with the iPad 9.7, the iPad Air, and the iPad Air 2. It is a keyboard case with an Apple pencil holder for the Apple iPad that's charged by a micro USB cord, and it tries to be a great case. Does it succeed at keeping your stuff safe? and also being fully functional. Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of the KM14 Bluetooth keyboard from New Lexi. So first and foremost, we got our handy dandy rule booklet, two pages, uh, Pictures, illustrations, very well done. The big things that are gonna be helpful here are how to use, so how you can set it up so it will sync with your Bluetooth, which was actually a very simple process. You hit the FN and uh, the FM button along with the Bluetooth button and boom, it saw it, it read it, and I was up and running in no time at all. And also the other big thing is that this has a free replacement warranty for the first 60 days and in within the first 30 days, you can register for an extra 18 months, which is very, very nice. Also, oddly enough, it comes with this piece of paper right here, which shows you how you can take things out and disassemble it, which I'll show you in a second. But I really felt like that could have very easily been added to the this somehow. But hey, anywho, not a big deal here. So the Apple, uh, the KM14 Bluetooth keyboard is used for the Apple 9.7 and the iPad Air and the iPad Air 2. Mine currently is not in here because I use it to shoot these videos, but this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have a magnetic clasp right here, and I know you're wondering, will it fall out? And the answer is yes. With a slight bit of pressure, the magnets are not terribly strong. It's not a huge deal, but it is something that I did want to note. It's not going to stay closed if you accidentally, uh, you know, set it like this and leave it like that. So it will dangle a little bit. But the star of the show, of course, is going to be the keyboard because you're looking at this, you're like, I need a keyboard and I have to say the keyboard I was pretty impressed with so when you want to turn it on turn it on right there it will start blinking how you do the Bluetooth you hit the FN button and then the Bluetooth button right here and bada boom it should read it on your iPad now I'm going to type some stuff out so you can see get a feel for how the keyboard works because the keys are pretty decently sized they're not full size but they're pretty decently sized so hello my name is Forrest and I love applesauce period. Uh, the keys are decently sized. I wish the backspace was a smidge bit bigger because you will somewhat be fumbling around. You might make a couple mistakes here and there. And I wish they really would have put that just a smidge bit bigger because sometimes we'll be hitting the plus button or the dash button instead of the backspace. Not a deal breaker, but it is something that I did want to mention. Overall, I was happy with the keyboard and I used it for probably about an hour. I was going through a whole bunch of emails and I didn't have an issue using it for a long period of time. So that is good. I did have more hiccups than I would have on your typical keyboard, but still for being something you're going to attach to your iPad, I was happy with the keyboard, even though I wish some of the keys were just a little bit bigger. Now, what I really liked about it were all the extra buttons that you have on top. So you hit FN and you're gonna be able to use all these special features and functions up here, which are really stinking nice. They're gonna allow you to get to your home screen, change your music, delete or mute your music, delete stuff, turn the volume up, turn the volume down. There's a whole bunch of them up here and they're all very useful. And they tell you how to use them all right here and there. But honestly, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. So overall, the keyboard, I was happy with the keyboard. It also has a little caps lock light up there, so you know when you're using the caps lock. Uh, the Bluetooth, uh, when it's blinking, that means uh, it's, it's not connected, so you want to make sure that it's there. And it has a little thing to tell you when your battery's about to die. Now, battery. Let's talk about battery. You're going to be charging it with a micro USB cord. They do include the micro USB cord. I don't currently have it right now, but it's your typical micro USB cord. And it says on the, uh, the website, 15 to 20 days of battery, which is thoroughly impressive. I've used this for a lot of hours now, like used it pretty intensively when I was checking my emails and going through music and doing a whole bunch of stuff. And I've had no issues with the battery life. But that being said, that is the kind of thing where you'll have to get to the bridge when you cross it. And I imagine it probably will have a good battery life on that bad boy. Now let's take a look at the actual case itself on the outside. It's going to have this little thing right here, which you can easily fold into a stand. It only folds into one stand though, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wish there was a little bit more versatility with this, but overall this magnet is very nice and it will hold it up in place. Spot for your camera. Uh, you got spots for your, uh, your volume knobs and all the different stuff right there. They thought of everything when they were doing that. There's no glaring errors and you can easily charge it with this on. That is something that I did want to mention. I've had some of these cases cases before where it's not as easy as you would like it to be to charge right there. So that is nice that they made this a little bit wider than they needed it to be. 
Other big thing you could do here, oh, and right there you got the Apple Pencil slot, so you can have your Apple Pencil if you do have the Apple, the iPad Air, is that you can pull this thing out. And yes, I know it feels really cringy and it always does, but then you can set the iPad up over here and you can kind of walk around with the keyboard, you be using it one-handed, or you can just be sitting on the lap, have it sitting on your lap or whatever you need to do. I do like this. This is a really nice added feature that it does detach and reattach. Now the reattaching is slightly more difficult than I'd like it to be. It's not a huge deal, but you really have to apply a good deal of pressure to get these bad boys back in. So I'm I'm a full-grown man, and I'm pushing, and one side always goes in easy, and the other side is like, Ugh! you gotta pop it in there. But hey, I guess I would like it, I'd rather have it be like that as opposed to just flying around all willy-nilly and coming unpopped when I don't want it to come unpopped. Other than that, there's not really too much to tell you about the case. It does have the wake sleep function, so when you open it like this, it will automatically wake itself up, and when you close it like that, it will automatically sleep, which is a nice added feature. Uh, I showed you the magnet clasp, but it is going to fall off from time to time. But there you go. That's what you're going to get with the KM14 Bluetooth keyboard. Alrighty then, the KM14 Bluetooth keyboard from New Laxi. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. Uh, I do want to mention, this was a review copy that was given to me by the company, so be forewarned on that. Pros and cons. First, on the con side, it's not going to be for everybody for a couple of different reasons. First, I did not like the clasp. I wish it was just a little bit stronger magnetically. You know, it's not a big deal, because honestly, who holds their their iPad like this? But I just wish that the clasp would have been slightly stronger. Also, the delete button. I wish the delete button, the backspace button, whatever you want to call it, was just a bit bigger. You know, they tried to make some of the keys bigger than other keys, the ones that you use a lot. But still, you are going to have some issues with fumbling around from time to time, and you're going to need to be backspacing. So I wish they would have made that button just a tiny bit bigger. I wish they would have fit that into there. Another con that I have with this is the choice to use a micro USB cord as opposed to the cord that Apple uses. That would have been nice to only have to have one cord with you, you know, one to charge your iPad and at the same time you could uh, have one to charge this as well. And with a 15 to 20 day battery life, as it says on here, you really could get by with just one cord. It's not a huge deal because I feel like most people have micro USBs and you can get them for the dollar store for a dollar, but it is still something that I did want to mention. Another con that I have with this is, uh, I don't know, it just, it doesn't, it feels flimsy. Like this cord feels a little bit flimsy. I wish it felt a little bit sturdier. I don't worry about it breaking because I've taken the thing out now like 25 or 30 times just to see if it would bend or do anything else. It did not. Also, putting it back in there is a little bit more difficult than you might want it to be. You really have to push down on the thing. And that's both a pro and a con because I kind of like the fact that it's really hard to get it in there because that means that it's not going to come out easily. But still, that is something you need to be forewarned. Like, I have a little divot now in my finger from trying to put that in there. And sometimes I have to use my teeth in order to get it in there. Any other cons that I have with it? No. Moving on to the pros. KM14 Bluetooth keyboard is a fantastic keyboard that I am actually going to be keeping and utilizing as my keyboard for my iPad. So first and foremost, I like the keypad. Uh, and once I got used to it, it was a pretty comfortable keypad. I like the fact you can take it out and kind of hold it one-handed and then type one-handed. It's small enough that I can kind of fit my hand on the whole thing and be doing it like this. It's great for checking emails. I like all the extra buttons up there where I could be messing with the music or the brightness or go back to the home screen or do this or do that. I like that. That's a nice added feature. Uh, I love the fact, I love the, the quality of the product. I feel like this thing is really durable. I'm not worried about breaking it with my iPad in it or throwing it or anything like that. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing that, obviously, but it feels like a very durable case. As hand, you know, my finger is in point there. It still has a little divot from when I tried to put it in. That's the kind of thing that I want out of my case because I have two kids and I want to make sure that the thing is not going to get broken and this does not feel like the kind of case that is going to get broken. The plastic on the sides, I'm pushing down on that super duper hard. No issues there. I like the quality of the case very, very much. It has the wake sleep function, so it's going to save you a little bit of batteries. The battery life. Well, I've not had a chance to actually kill the thing. Uh, it has worked perfectly fine for me with some heavy intensive uses. It just says 15 to 20 days battery life. That's a good deal of battery life. So I am pretty happy with that. The fact that it could hold your Apple Pencil, nice little added feature there. And in the end, the KM14 Bluetooth keyboard from New Laxi. Big recommendation from me. I think if you were in the market for a keyboard, this might be the one you want to check out if you have an iPad 9.7 or an Air or an Air 2. Really like it. Currently, it is $39.99 on Amazon, which is a good price. But 
like if you look at this in like the next week or something, there's actually a little button you can hit and it'll give you a coupon. So you can save an extra $4. So you'll get $35.99 shipped to your door. If you're in the market for a keyboard that uh, will attach to your iPad, I think this is a nice case that you might want to check out. So it is the KM14 Bluetooth keyboard from New Laxi. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And if you have a tech product that you would like to see reviewed on my channel, be sure to check out that email down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.